Hello guys, you have reached Top It Off with Miss R and I'm Miss R and once again I have another quick idea for your makeup station that I think that you will like. So if you would like to see what I have come up with after a nice long sleep, then just stay tuned. <music> Well guys, to tell you the truth, I don't want to sit up here and look at my brushes and and makeup palettes and, and things of that nature. I don't I don't want all this stuff, you know, sitting out and about. I want a nice, clean, neat area. Alright guys, well I had a few of these sitting around. This is nothing but a a cooling rack from Dollar Tree. And I decided that this would be a good draw organizer. Okay? So let's see how it's going to work. All right, guys. So this is the cooling rack. And um, we're going to lay it up against the draw. Right? Now, right here, I see that it's not going to fit in the draw long way. So what I am going to do is take one of my eyeliners. And I am going to mark the middle of the draw. Okay? Now I just took an eyeliner and I marked it. You see where I marked it at? Okay, guys. Once you have your cooling rack bent, the way you want it, you're going to take it and bend it in, and then you're going to flare out the sides that you bent. So it's going to look like an M. This, this way, this will secure your powders and your, your shadows and your cream foundations without them falling out. Now, another good thing to do is, whatever you're planning on scoring in this, See if it will fit, okay? See that? See if it will fit. If it doesn't fit, just give it a little bend. That's what I love about this cooling rack. You want to give it a little bend to give it more space before putting it in the drawer. Once you have your cooling rack built into an end and you flare it out the sides a little, you want it to fit snug in the drawer. So we're going to place the cooling rack in the drawer to where you want it to be. And you're going to bend in the side a little bit. You're going to slide it backwards. And that's where it's going to be, right? You optimize my space. If I get one of these from the Dollar Tree. You take your storage container unit from the Dollar Tree. And you can put it there. That will allow me to store my translucent powders. So I can stack that in there. And I can store all of my translucent powders that I have. So now I just have my other powders that I use. And my highlights. So now we're going to use, we're going to store the highlights. And guys, this will allow me to see everything I have and, um, it, it also let me see what I need to get rid of. So now, let's store the lipstick. It fits your lipstick that you use. So you won't have to worry about them slipping.
or head it upside down. And remember you have two sides that you can use it for. Okay guys, so basically, you know, you still have a corner here. So I can, if I want, for all of my sponges that I like to use right there. Guys, you can store the straw with anything that you want. Um, I have colorful shadows that will fit. And uh, I'll see my shadows that you'll probably forget about. So guys, for me, it's a win. Um, I have emptied up so many different containers that I was using to hold, you know, my makeup and my shadows and things of that nature. And I can find everything, organize everything that I would need in basically one drawer. Doing this, I have one, two, three, four, five, I have six extra drawers now. You could do this for all of your makeup needs. All right, guys, did you enjoy the video? Well, I love bringing it to you. Once again, this is Top It Off with Ms. R. I'm Ms. R. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell down below so you'll know when my next video is coming out, guys. Don't forget to like and share. Also, guys, stay safe, stay blessed, love one another, and I will talk to you later. Mwah.